BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Chemistry, the periodic table. Now, this is the periodic table of the elements. If you see it like this, it looks pretty frightening. Uh, there's an awful lot to it. So uh, we don't need to know all of this. There are some basics with that we should know about how many elements are there. Uh, why are they put in this order? How many of them are metals? Why are they put in groups? And what do the numbers mean? There's a big number and a little number. What do they mean? Well, how many elements are there? There are 92 naturally occurring elements. Uh, why are they put in that order? They are in order of atomic mass. So hydrogen is the lightest, uh, and then they get heavier and heavier and heavier. Uh, how many of them are metals is about three quarters. Uh, why are they put in groups? Because each group has, uh, the elements have similar properties. This is why it's called the periodic table, because these properties appear periodically. Okay, so in the same group, they have similar properties. What do the numbers next to each element mean? Well, the big number is the relative atomic mass. If you like, that's how heavy they are. Uh, and then the small number is the atomic number. It's actually the number of protons, but it's its number in the periodic table. So hydrogen is number one, helium is number two, etc. the atomic number. Uh, again, this looks a bit frightening. We can see group one, group two, uh, group seven, group zero. There's a block in the middle called the transition metals. Uh, hydrogen's on its own because it's a bit odd. Now, simpler than that is this. So I've left out the transition metals uh, and we're just looking at period two and period three. They're the important ones as far as we're concerned. And you'll see there's period two, period three, and then groups one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. Okay, and I learnt this off by heart uh, when I was about 15, 16, and it's one of the most useful things I've learnt, and I suggest you do. It's the first 20 elements. Learn the first 20 elements. Harry Henry likes beer by cupfuls, not overflowing, etc. Something else you should know, uh, there's the S block, the D block, the P block, uh, then the F block down there. If you remember our video about subshells, you should understand that these blocks are all to do with subshells, all to do with electrons but you should recognize the names of these, these blocks, S, P, and D, and F. Ionization, this is something we need to know about. Ionization, the ionization energy is the energy needed to take away an electron, okay? Uh, the first ionization energy is all we're interested in. The energy needed to take away one electron from a, an atom is the first ionization energy. Okay, the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from an atom. Now, what kind of atoms want to lose an electron? Now, these atoms will have a small ionization energy. And then what kind of atoms don't want to lose an electron? they will have a large ionization energy. Now, remember that atoms, they want to have a full outer shell. So atoms which only have one or two electrons, they'll want to lose those electrons. Atoms which nearly have a full outer shell, they'll want to gain electrons. So, look at this, this is important. This is first ionization energy the energy needed to remove the first electron. And you'll notice for lithium, sodium, potassium, it's small. For uh, helium, neon, argon, it's very big. Okay, then as we work our way across a period, it gets bigger and bigger. 
And if we work our way down a group, then it gets smaller. Here's a nice uh, 3D graphic of that. Don't worry about the transition metals. Don't worry about F block either. It's just uh, really periods two and three that we're interested in. And notice as we go from left to right, the ionization energy gets bigger. So why does it get bigger? Now, as we move from left to right, the ionization energy gets bigger. Why? Because there's more protons in the nucleus. So the electron is attracted more to the atom. So it's harder to take it away. Okay. Uh, why do period three elements have smaller ion ionization energies than period two? Because period three elements, they have another shell. So the electrons are further away from the nucleus. So the attractive force is weaker, so it's easier to remove them. So there are two trends which you need to know. Okay, as you work your way across a period, the ionization energy gets bigger. And then if you work your way down a group, the ionization energy gets smaller. Electron affinity. This is a little bit tricky. It's the energy released when an atom gains an electron. Okay, so if an atom gains an electron, then energy might be released. So what kind of atoms want to gain an electron? And then what kind of atoms don't want to gain an electron? This particular atom here, it has a high electron affinity. Give me an electron now. It has a high electron affinity. If a neutral atom is given an electron, then how much energy is released? Okay, it's how likely a neutral atom is to gain an electron. It's almost the opposite of ionization energy. Now, again, we're not bothered about the transition metals. And strictly speaking, we're only bothered about non-metals. Because the metals, they don't want to gain an electron. They want to get rid of an electron. It's only the non-metals want to gain an electron. And then you can imagine that the group seven, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, they'll have the highest electron affinity. If they gain an electron, they'll release the most energy. So they have the highest electron affinity. Okay. Uh, here's a graph of electron affinity against atomic number. Uh, as I said, the, the, the metals, don't worry too much about the metals. They don't want to get. OK, it's the non-metals that we're interested in. Yeah, if they gain an electron, then energy would be released. This is, I think, the best video on YouTube, certainly to do with chemistry. Uh, it's quite old, but watch it. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's very, very clever and very funny. Here are some revision questions that you can have a go at. I'm not going to read them out. Pause the video and do them.